So for a while now, I've been playing a lot of shooter games and one of my favorite games is Overwatch. And recently Overwatch has been kind of in a bad light considering what they've done since Overwatch 2 has released. And also because Blizzard has become such a dark place now. And I've been looking for a brand new game to play that resembled Overwatch. And there's been quite a bit of games that have been coming out that have copied the formula of Overwatch and they haven't really scratched the itch until Marvel Rivals. Now with Marvel Rivals, at first I was a little bit skeptic just because it's made by a company that made a lot of phone games that were very monetization heavy. NetEase doesn't really have a track record when it comes to making a full-fledged game. But Marvel Rivals is their very first take on a big game that also has a big IP. And to my surprise, they did a very, very good job with Marvel Rivals. Now to bring out the obvious, Marvel Rivals is a copy of Overwatch. Everything about it is Overwatch. They switch things here and there. They change the map a little bit, but pretty much it's just a copy of Overwatch. And you know what? That's fine. For me, Overwatch wasn't really broken. It's just a matter of supporting a company like Blizzard and the developers at Overwatch who recently destroyed the IP of Overwatch. And now Marvel Rivals comes in with a IP that is well known, especially with characters like Iron Man, Thor, Magneto. A lot of these characters are well known now, especially with the Marvel movies and the Marvel media just blowing up over the last decade. And while I think this game would have done a lot better when Marvel was on the rise, I think it comes at a time where people are looking for a shooter game to fill that void that Overwatch has left. With Marvel Rivals, I've been enjoying it a lot lately. Like the closed beta has been a blast. Even though this is just bare bones content, the gameplay is just enough to keep me entertained. And like I said, it is Overwatch. Like, and you have Star-Lord who's a bit of Tracer, Reaper, and Soldier 76 roll into one. You have Magneto who's basically Sigma. You have Iron Man who's basically Farah, but 10 times better. Also, it's Iron Man. A lot of the gameplay is very well done and it's all thanks to copying overwatch and i don't like saying that word copying but it really is just a copy but they just mix things up and it honestly works like the gameplay's fun the maps are great my only issue with this game is two things one is the performance sometimes you would get lag issues depending on what time of day it is or even like sometimes when it's considered a dead time. Like there's some performance issues that for sure they can definitely fix with a couple of patches. So I'm not too concerned about that. But my main concern is the monetization in this game. Now for the closed beta, everything is free. You have the battle pass, sadly uses the challenges in order to go up in the battle pass, which I'm not a fan of. I think you should just play the game and then you slowly go up the battle pass. Um, there's also the shop, which right now everything is free. All you have to do is play the game, do certain challenges with certain characters, and you can buy stuff from the shop and then do certain challenges in game or with certain characters and you go up in the battle pass. But my main concern is that with this potentially being a free game, they're most likely gonna charge you for the battle pass, for the skins and whatnot. And there's a chance this might be heavily monetized, which Quite honestly, I'm a huge Marvel fan, but not lately, so I don't mind this. However, there's a chance with a big IP like Marvel Rivals, there's a chance that they will most likely do this. But I have hope. I have hope that NetEase will learn that people are playing this game because it's fun and not to heavily monetize it. I think crossing the line would be having heroes uh, behind the battle pass. I feel like they should be part of the free section, which most games do anyways. But yeah, guys, pretty much I've been enjoying Marvel Rivals. It's very fun. If one of your friends could get a code for you, I would highly recommend pushing the crap out of them to get you into it because this game is pretty fun and it is very close to being the Overwatch killer. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I got to say thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed um i know it's so hard for small content creators like me to gain traction but 
I've actually reached 500, which is insane considering that um, my other YouTube channel, I reached 500 in eight years and this only been eight months. So it's crazy to me. So thank you guys so much who's subscribed to me. Thank you to everyone who supported me. And my next goal is a thousand, a thousand, and then I can actually do this stuff full time so I can do more uh, videos and I can create better content for you guys. So yeah, please, if you enjoyed the video and if you want more, please subscribe, like the video and comment uh, on anything. I mean, fuck it, comment your grocery list. But seriously though, comment what, you th what your thoughts is on Marvel Rivals. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Just let me know down below and I'd like to discuss about it. But yeah, um, that's the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see y'all next week. Bye.